It's a Tuesday afternoon at a busy intersection in Brooklyn. New York police pull over a commercial tour bus. Driver. The driver is called out. The bus will never make it to its final destination, the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. It's placed out of service with multiple violations. I have a California commercial driver's license and a New York license. Upon inspection, police find out the driver has two licenses and various other infractions, including the absence of a driver logbook. A driver that doesn't have a logbook, uh, we would have no way of knowing. He could be driving uh, well over the hours allotted, uh, so therefore there could be an issue of fatigue. Bus driver fatigue. The issue has prompted these random police checkpoints for commercial buses. This bus is operated by Sky Express, a company just shut down by federal authorities after a crash killed four people and injured 50 others in Virginia. The driver told police he was sleep fatigued. Crashes like these are why New York officials ask for federal regulation. The Transportation Safety Board has overall oversight. They're like the inspector general, and we are asking them to look at this industry overall and propose regulations. Regulations like making it easier to revoke licenses, requiring electronic recorders on buses to replace paper logbooks that can easily be falsified. Along with the roadside bus checks, New York now has facial recognition technology that snags drivers with multiple licenses. So far, the state's efforts led to more than 200 driver arrests in the last three months. Godfrey LeBron owns a bus company out of New York. He's all for safety, but says pulling over a bus midway through a journey leads to things like passengers missing a flight. If a bus is being driven, you know, in a very safe manner and everything looks fine and there's no reason to stop him, why should you inconvenience passengers? And although some bus companies like LeBron's have a clean record, unfortunately others don't. And it's that one fatal crash that is one too many. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.